So I spoke to my brother and we were like, let's do a video of five of the reasons you should buy a 350Z. Currently he has a grudge with his, so this video will be pretty hard for him to make. So he'll be back for the next one when we tell you five reasons not to buy a 350Z. Or so, five reasons why I hate my... Oh, right, he's, he's gonna get out of this one, so. See you in a little bit. All right, so what is up guys? I'm Josue, this is my brother's 350Z. I've driven it for a couple times now. It honestly strives better than my 300ZX, to be quite honest. It has a short shifter, which is pretty cool. Apart from that, that's all it has. It's low mileage, my brother got a good deal on it. We're gonna talk about five reasons why you should consider buying a Nissan 350Z. <laughs> kick it off with number one it's iconic there's not that many of these left in good condition and the price for it is between four to six thousand dollars for a decent one stick shift ones are hard to find my brother has a manual one right here so that kind of increases the value of resale for this car it's been featured in films a lot of you guys might know it from fast and the furious tokyo drift where in my opinion it made this car explode and a lot of people decided they want to pick one up and modify it to the way it was in Fast and the Furious. Or I could be wrong, a lot of you guys might actually hate how it was modified in the Fast and the Furious. It's featured in the Marvel intro back in the day. The look is timeless. Nissan hasn't even given it up. They just rearranged the front face and the rear end and they just called it a 370Z. The aftermarket support and the community support for this car is insane. <laughs> <laughs> he just shot a flame, boys! <laughs> My brother has been able to find a lot of cheap parts for it from a lot of friends that had 350Zs. My brother has been able to pay way below retail price for a couple of things he has on this car and a couple of things he has coming for the car. He's got, he's got in headlights, he's got in tail lights, he's got an exhaust from a couple of friends and stuff like that. There's just so much stuff out there. Even a quick search on eBay will yield you a lot of options and stuff that you could actually buy for this car. It's also a good learner car if you're trying to learn how to drive stick. The transmission is bulletproof to the point where it only it takes an idiot to destroy it. It can be destroyed, but it's pretty much bulletproof if you're trying to learn how to drive stick. This was the learner car for me and my brother and we really didn't struggle much trying to learn how to drive stick. On top of learning how to drive stick, it's also a good car to learn on how to do modifications on because like I said, it goes back to part number two or reason number two, the aftermarket support. There's a lot of things on here that you can do and there's a lot of stuff here that you can modify. It's the way the car looks, whichever route you decide to go with, uh, well, I don't know what, this route my brother has decided to go with but you guys have seen how nice this 350z has looked uh it's definitely seen better days compared to how it is now um, my brother has a huge other plan for this and, and you guys will see that in the future videos that are to come but the style the body of this 350z like i said before it's timeless and to round it off with number five it is a good project car it's a good drift car it's definitely a good stance car. What do you say, it's a good daily? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good daily. It's a good car to have in your garage store because the value on these, I don't think it's gonna drop anymore. You're consistently gonna be able to get five to six to $4,000 for this car, depending on what condition you have it. Yeah, you can buy one up for 2K, but it's gonna be destroyed with about 300,000 to 200,000 miles. Uh, this one's a stick shift, so my brother has that going for it. It has under 150,000 miles, possibly even under 110,000 miles. My brother got a pretty good deal for this. He paid uh, 55. It had 96,000 miles. 90. Okay, my bad. It had 90,000 miles, and he paid 55. If that's not a steal, I don't know what is. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. Drop the video a like, subscribe if you haven't. Drop down below if you own a 350Z and what was one of the reasons you decided to buy it. And also comment down below what you that guys would like to see next. But that's gonna be it guys. And remember, sometimes later becomes never. Deuces. <laughs> he just shot a flame, boy! Cause I ride for my click, I get live with my click, go get high with my click, do a dive for my click, set a saw that I know.